Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and I am currently on vacation at the lake, but there is news to be covered, and so the show must go on. Today we have a pretty exciting prediction video, and that's because there are some brand new Black Series reveals coming tomorrow, and I think I know what they are. And real quick before you get into it, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot. And while you're at it, make sure to go check out the gaming channel. We're almost to a thousand subs. So if you go drop a sub on that, it would also be greatly appreciated. It is linked in the description. Anyway, on to the news. So we do have some official confirmation that there will be some Black Series reveals tomorrow, June 29th at 11 a.m. So pretty excited about this, and they're rather early in the morning too, which I do like. So I'm not quite sure when the pre-orders will go up, but we do know we will get multiple Black Series reveals tomorrow, and I think I have a good idea of what they may be. So a little, I guess it would have been earlier this week, Yakface did post about the Target exclusive Summer Geek Out event, where basically Target will be revealing, uh, he said a few black series pre-orders so we're not really sure how many a few is but my guess is around two and so i looked at black series exclusives and we do have two black series exclusives for target that have already been pipelined and i'm thinking that these two will be announced tomorrow that being the battle damaged vader from kenobi as well as commander oppo now, for the Battle Damage Vader, I think there's a few different routes they could go with this figure. They could go with the Kenobi body and then make a brand new uh, Hayden Christensen head sculpt to go underneath for Vader, which I think it's possible. I know that uh, when it comes to Kenobi and stuff, they're going to want to reuse that Kenobi body, which is unfortunately just not as good as the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi body. That one is more updated and it does have butterfly joints, so the Kenobi body is not really what we want, but a brand new Hayden Christensen face would be really nice. But I think what they're probably going to do, and I think this is a little bit more plausible in my opinion, is they're just going to re-release the Return of the Jedi Vader, which actually hasn't released yet. It's not supposed to release until fall of 2023, but they're going to pretty much repack this guy, which already has the unmasked Vader head, but they're going to make a brand new sculpt for the battle-damaged, like, broken mask, and then that will just be glued onto the head. So you're probably not going to be able to remove, remove the actual helmet, which would be unfortunate, but you would be able to see that face sculpt underneath now i do think this is more plausible just because they already have the face sculpt for the unmasked vader but that is a little unfortunate just because this is the return of the jedi vader and not a hayden christensen face sculpt so it wouldn't quite be accurate to kenobi but it would also be kind of a plus just because it would have the updated articulation of that return of the jedi body so Honestly, either way, I could see, I could see them go either way, but uh, I think the the Return of the Jedi version is a little bit more plausible. Now, Yakface did make a post today, pretty much saying that uh, all of these reveals are from Kenobi. So uh, I think that kind of throws a little bit of a wrench in the Oppo thing, just because it was confirmed that Oppo is from one of the flashbacks but we don't really know which flashback scene. Now, in the flashback scene in Book of Boba Fett, I'll throw up a photo, he did have the arrow. It's a little bit faint and hard to see, but he does have the arrow in Book of Boba Fett, so that's what I kind of assumed they would do, and they would put him in the Book of Boba Fett packaging, but the photo they used is actually from Revenge of the Sith, which is not accurate at all, and that's not the figure we're getting, but uh, there were the 501st in Kenobi, so I could see them just doing a plain 501st trooper with no arrow in the Kenobi packaging and just calling him Commander Oppo. I think that's the most realistic thing. It, it kind of aligns with the all Kenobi releases and it, it's an army builder 501st on that new clone body. So I think that's going to be the, the most plausible here, but I wouldn't mind to see the like uh, Book of Boba Fett flashback version as well. So we'll have to wait and see, but uh, I do think we're getting Oppo tomorrow. And uh, considering Yakface's post there that all these would be Kenobi figures, I think it's possible we could get the two Walmart exclusives as well. Now this obviously doesn't align with the Target geek out sale or whatever, but it does align with just these Kenobi reveals. And so I think we could get that final appearance of Obi-Wan as well as the Force Ghost Qui-Gon. And I'd be pretty happy to get these. So we'll have to wait and see, but those are my predictions. I think we're gonna be getting those four figures tomorrow. So make sure to come back tomorrow at 11 a.m because I'll be making a video talking about it and I'll be obviously covering all the reveals here on the channel so make sure to come back hit that like button subscribe so you don't miss out and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video thank you so much for watching